The cancers that are hardest to detect early are the ones that occur in organs deep inside the body, like, for example, the pancreas. If you're trying to detect a skin cancer or a breast cancer or a head and neck cancer, you can get at the tissue involved and examine it, whereas something like the pancreas is tucked away at the back of the abdomen, and unless we develop better imaging techniques than we have at the moment, it's going to be very hard to find them early. But as a society, we need to make people more aware of symptoms that might indicate a developing cancer, make them less shy about going to see their GP. They're shyer in England and in the United Kingdom about that than they are in Europe. And then we need to work on making it easier for the GPs to refer patients to hospital and providing the diagnostic facilities so that people can get the tests that they need. I said that the most difficult cancers to diagnose are those that are deep inside the body. Of course, one way around that is if we can find some molecule which is released by the cancer into the bloodstream or into the urine or into the breath, and you can pick that up. And a lot of people are working on that, but so far, we haven't, with a few exceptions, we haven't really found anything that, that is a general answer to that.